Hello guys, welcome back to Dishonored 2, thanks for joining me. I believe that the mission we're just about to embark upon is the uh, heavily publicised Clockwork Mansion mission. Um, I believe our target in this one is going to be Kirin Jindosh, the grand inventor dude who has kidnapped our old buddy. In fact, our old bit of a dick, Anton Sokolov, from the first game. So we find ourselves back on the dreadful whale again here. And um, we have to talk to Megan Foster to get briefed. I just want Anton back here, safe and sound. How did that old fool come to mean so much to me? Intriguing. You might want to talk to Hypatia before we head out. She's taken one of the rooms, just for a while, I think. Needed to be away from Adamire. Hold on a minute, how did she get onto the ship? Because she was unconscious, spasming on the floor of her lab last time we saw her. And then we were taken by the skiff directly from Adamire back here again. Unless of course Corvo has been to sleep in his room, which I guess is possible. We'll be able to tell that by the amount of uh, daylight outside. Nonetheless, let's speak to her. What did I do? What did I do? All these... Oh, you're here. Stay with me a moment. Hypatia, what can you remember? I need to find Anton Sokolov. He might be the key to unraveling the Duke's plans. My memories are disjointed. The Duke is close to his grand inventor, Kirin Jindosh. But that man has the empathy of a mantis. He seems to both admire and despise Sokolov. We visited Aramis Stilton. I liked him. But something bad happened. <sighs> Just snatches a memory. <laughs> Sorry. You should rest easy for a while. Maybe some of that will help. I hope so. I'm not sure I even fully understand what you did for me. But I owe you for helping me at Adamire. Thank you. Interesting. <clears throat> that was the point where I just got awarded the achievement for um, injecting her with the counter serum as opposed to killing her. I also noticed she has a, a crate of six Adamire solutions here. I don't know if they're going to replenish or not, but we could use one and take three to get ourselves full. Full of mana. We'll leave three. We'll try and remember how many are there for next time we're back here and see if they're restocked. Nonetheless, that's good to have. She also has a lovely music audiograph. She really, really reminds me of someone, and I can't think who it is. Some, like, actress or something. And I'm, It's really annoying me, but I really like the kind of design of her. <clears throat> like, her face just has a, a very strange arty kind of quality, which I think is is well done, but alright, let's talk to uh, Megan and get, get moving. Megan must be up on deck. Yeah, so it's now sun set, I guess? Or sunrise? Possibly sunrise, because I think there was a, a nighttime one at Adamire, wasn't it? So he's slept for a few hours. We can only assume that in the meantime, um, Megan has gone and fetched Hypatia from the Institute. Let's hope your friend doesn't sink the boat while we're gone. Ready? Let's go. Alright, let's get underway. Number four, the Clockwork Mansion. Anton Sokolov is being held at the mansion of Kirin Jindosh, grand inventor to the Duke and creator of the Clockwork Soldier. Get inside, rescue Sokolov and eliminate Jindosh before he builds an army of Clockwork Soldiers. Mmm, we don't, don't really want that. Now before we get moving here, I just want to say something about those Clockwork Soldiers. This seem, uh, seems to mirror slightly and be somewhat of a deliberate homage to Thief 2, The Metal Age, and I know I keep kind of comparing that series to this one. 
but this was this is a spiritual successor to Thief and to Looking Glass games in general. So it's really nice that they do things like get Stephen Russell in to do the voice and um, Thief 2 The Metal Age was um, kind of featured the hammer, the, the mechanists, which are like a, a sort of religious zealot offshoot of the Hammerites from the first game who were obsessed with technology and they built these kind of steampunk robots which were like much more difficult versions of normal patrolling guards. And it seems like that's kind of what's happening with these clockwork soldiers as well but I guess we won't know until we actually encounter them um, quite how dangerous they're going to be. Uh, I do know that you can take their heads off and they will still walk around and can still detect you by sound so I also know that it doesn't actually count towards a kill if you destroy them so we may have to destroy them but um, I get the feeling that we it's not going to be as simple as going straight to the mansion and going in the front door and finding out here we go Jindosh is important to the Duke's inner circle the Grand Guard watches his mansion, harassing people who look like trouble. You said there's a wall of light cutting off access to the carriage station. Yes, but there's a black market shop nearby. They sell on the sly. Ever use a rewiring tool? Yes, but it's been years. Good. Get past the wall of light, then ride the carriage to where Jindosh lives. And there's a reason people are afraid of his mansion. I'll see you after it's done. Corvo, take care of this crazy man and his clockwork soldiers, then bring Sokolov back. He means a lot to me. So, there's a reason people are afraid of his mansion. You aren't going to tell me that reason, are you? That might be somewhat useful, maybe. His home is supposed to be full of marvels. Locals go in as a test of courage or because they're desperate for a meal. Kids, even. People say you can hear them at night, pounding on the windows, calling for help. Ooh, cool. So he's, it's, I mean, we already know this, like, just from watching pre-release footage of that mission, but, um, and even the original announcement trailer for the game featured that clockwork mansion. Each of the rooms has these, like, mechanized levers when you pull them, and all the walls and floors and ceilings shift around and turn in and out on themselves and change the shape of the rooms and of the layout of the mansion on the fly. Um, so it's kind of a very, very cool mechanic and almost a bit portal-esque or something in the way that it makes you really consider, um, you know, the idea of the physical space that you're in in a new way. I can't wait to get there. I have a feeling it's going to be a very difficult mission, but I also have a feeling like we've got quite a way to go through Karnaka before we get there. So, um, the other thing I will say is that I was pretty ashamed of my performance overall um, in the Adam Meyer mission, so I'm going to try and be a little more thorough in the interim sections. So, before we get to the mansion, basically, I'm going to spend a bit more time kind of hunting collectibles and things. I need to be getting a good body of runes, and you can see there's one up there for a start quite nearby. I need to be getting these things because we don't have nearly the powers that we need, and I also want to try the um, bone charm crafting at some point. Now, it says to do that you have to expend raw whalebone, which we have a couple of, and a resource. I'm assuming the resource is going to be a rune or an existing bone charm. So, it's going to be an expensive process, but if it gets us things like combat sleep dart or um, quick strangle kind of mechanics more easily, then it will be worth doing. The other thing is uh, the agility thing is very good. We can get so we can get the high jump right now if we want. We have three runes; it costs two. I do also want bend time, which is going to cost five just to slow time, and then a further six to stop time, totaling eleven runes to get to that point. That's a long, long way off. So I may take agility now, and then 
you know, I just need to be getting more runes. That's my point, okay? <laughs> um, but I am going to spend a bit of time in this area and see what we can find. This may turn out to be a neutral area. It may turn out to be an area with guards. But let's just have a look quickly at what we get for on the second tier. Sprint faster, less fall damage. Both kind of useless, so I will just take this now. That leaves us with one rune. Let's just test our new jump. Yep, yeah, so it's the same as Corvo's um, one from Dishonored as opposed to Dowd's in the sense that it's a double jump rather than a super high springing jump like Dowd had. Uh, still very useful for things like that. Now, I'm just going... Lower Aventa District, okay. I'm just examining the architecture here. Ah, uh, okay, so this is where uh, extra carriages are deployed onto the tracks by the looks of things. Uh. Keep out. It appears to be... Ah, is that an open window? Could be. Could be. There's a rune up there. Probably a load of blood flies and stuff Two by the looks of it. For that cat lap? Well, no more, thank you. Place is a dump anyway. <coughs> Air's a bit thick. Dust has been a problem lately. Hmm. That's a future mission, isn't it? The dust district. There's one in that building, a bone charm. Okay, there's lots of civvies. If you stay here, just don't go poking your nose where it don't belong. Child Empress is gone. Yeah, okay, right. There's a whole shit ton of guards over there, so we need to be stealthy now. This isn't actually a neutral zone, as I suspected that it might be. Well, good. Um... Can I blink up there? I have extended blink. Hey! What's in here? A dead person. I can see the rune. Oh, it's a shrine! Lovely, we can talk to our old buddy. Let me just check that it's safe before we do that. Whispers from the Void by Barnoli Mulani. We already saw that one. Yeah, we did. Um, I need to be getting more money as well, so I'm going to be a bit thorough in searching these places because... Yes, there are blood flies. Lots and lots of blood flies. Oh, volume two. Feel free to pause and read that if you want. Um... I don't... I think I'm going to probably go out of the window again. Those blood flies are, uh... Are nasty, but... It may be safer to go down through them and possibly find other collectibles. No, there are no others in this building, I don't think. But we know there are blood flies. So it's blood flies or guards. Pick your poison. I'll tell you a story about Kirin Jindash, a prodigy from Karnaka. Self-taught, he was hailed by the Academy of Natural Philosophy as a genius who would surpass Sokolov and bring about an age of enlightenment. But just two years after his arrival, he was banned from the Academy for life, for reasons that are still not public. When they deported him, he left behind a machine that drank seawater, playing music that brought listeners to tears. They probably took it apart, and it has never worked since. That's very, very, very odd, even for the outsider. <laughs> what that gets me to thinking, right, is about 
I just realized that I'm only on like half health, so I'm going to use an S&J. Now, the S&J is our health potions in this game, and what that, together with the, just the outsider conversation then, got me to thinking is, we haven't had any mention of Piero Joplin yet. Now, the reason why the health potions are called S&J elixirs in this game is because at the end of Dishonored, um, Sokolov and Joplin, who were formerly rivals, started working together and they developed their own elixir, the S&J elixir, right? Makes sense, but then... So where is Joplin? Because we're hearing talk of Sokolov all the time, but we haven't heard had anything about him. Um, I'm going to try and go for this bone charm, see if I can find a way into this building. It would be good to be able to avoid it at ground level. Because um, the carriage station over here is... A venter station, yeah, is a seemingly swarming with guards, as it would appear are all other... Um, carriage stations. There is also this wall of light. Now, she recommended visiting the black market shop in this district and getting a rewire tool. Somehow I get the impression that that may be necessary because we, we you can tell by the cabling, but there's a cable coming out this side. That's probably going to be where we rewire it, but there's also one, as you can see, going in, and that's probably what's powering the thing. I can't see a wind turbine aside from there. That's probably too far away to be powering it, so it's probably a whale oil tank. And that leads me to suspect that without some very clever platforming, or possibly not at all, we may have to actually rewire that wall of light. That also then puts us at the risk of... Uh, accidentally killing guards by them passing through it, which means that we would need to subdue all the guards in the process as well. So this is, we're probably going to be in this area for a while, you guys. A dead guard. Yes, coins, give me the coins. I need that shit. That is a nothing. Probably going to do nothing yet. Not that I need any, needed any health, but I think that's a rot piece of rotten fruit, probably. I don't know. Um, typewriter. What you got? Letter to Bonville. Ah, Brianna Ashworth. She was mentioned, wasn't she? I feel like she's an important character, so we'll read this. Major Bonville, thank you again for your help. Without you, it would have been impossible to trace the final members of the Grand Guard who were with Stilton that night three years ago. Stilton was the one that was mentioned by... Hypatia. The last man had made it all the way north to Maya, if you can believe it, and was recovering at a Tivian asylum for the poor, claiming to have seen all manner of strange things on the night of Stilton's last social gathering. He even described an exotic hooded figure visiting the manor, perhaps someone connected to Stilton's disappearance. Such matters are best left to military men such as yourself, I suppose. I still have your bank agent's name and address. Rest assured, your final payment will be delivered soon. I'm also sending a small flask of a li liquor that is close to my heart, made from the pomace left over after wine grapes have been pressed. Please think of me as you enjoy. Yours truly, Brianna Ashworth. So, um, sounds like brandy, to be honest, but distilled wine. That's interesting, though, because the hooded figure that she mentioned, and she also mentioned Tivia, is bringing my suspicions very close to the identity of that hooded figure with the grey skin and the bandaged face. I'm assuming that we are going to find out who that is, but I think I already know who it is, uh, based on reading the Dishonored novel, The Corroded Man. So we've got one, <coughs> two, three... Um... Okay, one... That I can see. The black market's over here. Oh, we never. There was a bone charm, wasn't there? Not. For the Duke's not so bad. How did I miss you, baby?
Give me that shit. Ground glider. What does it do? Slide speed is faster. Not especially useful at the moment, but still, it's a collectible. Somewhere an old woman is beating a servant. He is but a boy. The beating will leave him lying. He was late with the tea. That reminds me of uh, Robert Zemeckis' Beowulf, where John Malkovich's character is like beating his servant constantly, <laughs> just getting like dark kicks out of beating his servant up forever and ever. And then at the end of the film, when they're like, it's like decades later, and he's really, really old man and like crippled, and the servant boy has grown up, like to being a full adult probably in like his 40s and his face is so horrifically scarred by being beaten over and over and over by John Malkovich but he's like propping him up because he's elderly and crippled and it's this really strange and tragic relationship that these two guys have but reminds me of that um, so there's a rune that's going to be for sale in the black market we can assume inside the station inside the station black bone charm what does that mean? That's a new thing. Not the same as a corrupted one, certainly. Okay. Let's have a look for that. There's an open door up there. That's going to be our way in. Being careful of guards. Everyone... Uh, up to the point where I'm at now seems to be a civilian and everyone beyond seems to be a guard. Yeah, and his patrol ends there, so... Uh, I'll just... Um. When the Grand Guard go into the place and see it packed solid with blood flies, they burn the building to the ground. And the ones on either side. They may just smoke flash it. Either way... The jewels will be ruined. Parts of the city are starting We're to not getting dodgy. our money, are we? No Have live. some faith. It'll just be more complicated than I thought it would be. The Dukes let the blood flies get out of hand this year. <laughs> Am I, I ever going to catch a break? A Nobody's looking game. out for nobody right now. We'll go back tonight and dig the jewels out. After that, we'll make a quick exit from Karnaka. <laughs> I don't know if you're going to be hostile to me if I go, if I move in. Is there a high point here I can get to? Maybe up that pipe? Ah. I only have a boat. Shit. <coughs> we know a jumping blink is possible here. I'm just wary of guards behind. Oh. Well, I'm just going to end up taking damage. At least they aren't all whistling the drunken whaler. <laughs> what happens if I go in? Are they going to attack? Yeah. Your clothes seem a bit exotic, even for someone visiting. I work on loading fish. I'd be out on the boats, but I've got a weak stomach. What, so you deal with dead fish? Hello. You'll be all right here, visitor. Just keep your head down. Thanks, man. Nice to see someone being a bit friendly to his fellow man in this horrible place. Um, where? So, where well, is Dunwall? Is are you worried someone might recognize you? Yes. Um. So, where is Dunwall? Is obviously based on a, basically a fifty-fifty split between. Um. London and Edinburgh. It has the architecture of Edinburgh with the kind of layout and vibe of Victorian London. This is um, kind of a, a its own dishonoured spin on, like, I guess, Euro Western European island pl cities, if that makes sense. So I'm talking about Palmer in Mallorca. Lisbon, not that that's an island, but 
there's a lot of Italian and a lot of Portuguese in this architecture. And uh, I actually went on holiday a couple of months ago to Madeira, which is an Atlantic island in between uh, Portugal and Morocco. And it's a volcanic island, so it goes very, very sharply up from the um, from the sea through the town up to these incredibly tall mountains, and that's really the exact vibe I was getting from the mountain which rises up behind the city of Karnaka. So it was it's very interesting to me that they've they've really done their homework, you know. Um, I really like how much it it does cleverly mirror things in the real world whilst having such a distinctive kind of vibe of its own. So where's this black bone charm? It's further upstairs. Ooh, we're safe. Um... Metronome. Who's whistling? Can't see anyone in the building, but our dark vision doesn't have a very good range in this game unless we possibly are able to upgrade it. Crystal safe and lock company, that's cool, because it's like, um... It's the same lock system. Ooh! Any money? No money. Note from Corey, Corey Brockburn. 25th day month of timber, 1851. Janice, you'll find everything in the safe. I've written the combination in the usual place. You'll know where to look in the office. I changed all the safe tumblers recently because I feel like I'm being followed. Pretty sure I heard shuffling and heavy breathing from somewhere nearby in the dark when I was closing up the office for the night. It's not the Grand Guard this time, we're being watched for certain. It's probably safer to postpone our next gathering. Can you warn the others? I'll leave for Kilero when I'm done with today's clients, Cory Brockburn. So, somewhere in this office we will find the combination to this safe. Um, I need to be looking quite closely at these things. Um, I don't know if we're going to find it really. That's cool, isn't it? That's like, well, goth. Okay, um, I'm just going to keep my eyes open and, you know, maybe if we... If we see it anywhere... Then... We get some extra spends, but... I don't know if he's written it in the mirror or anything, but... Oh, no, that's a picture, isn't it? Not a mirror. I really love the reflective effects. They probably won't come out very well on YouTube, but... The graphical effects are so nice. In terms of lighting and stuff. My eyes are burning. Um... <clears throat> So where am I looking then for this strictly cash? That's what I'm after. Strictly cash. I need to get higher up. How can I do that? this way. <laughs> Maybe we'll find a safe combination here somewhere. Food ticket program has been cancelled. Sounds like a dictatorship. Hello? Oh, it's only rats. Not a big enough swarm to be hostile to old Corvo, I don't think. No? Yeah. Come on, fuck off. Um... Blue power, blue powder, best quality, two trial bottles. What's blue powder? Is that like a an, an elixir that you sniff? 
It's blocked. Oh, don't tell me. Oh, right. Is there any clue to how we can unblock it? For God's sake. Right, we're going to have to find another way in, aren't we? I'm thinking going outside and going in through the window, possibly, but those windows were barred, so... Ah. <sighs> um... I'll have a look. I can see a rooftop area here, but it's not... It's going in the wrong direction. We'll have a look around down that way, but... I may have to uh, end the episode soon for the sake of... Um, I'm having real internet issues at the moment. I'm in the process of changing ISP, but until I do that... Where there's the money for that? Um, there's real problems with my upload speeds, so it's taking me a stupid amount of time to upload videos. You saw nothing. Okay, is there a way in on a higher floor? Is that there maybe? Can I get up here? Ah. Something's happened, they say. Not safe, they say. Oh, it looks like there also may possibly be a way in past that wall of light. Yeah, they're okay, so we can use verticality. Which doesn't help us get this black bone charm. I don't know what black bone charms are, but I kind of want them so that I know what they are. Hmm. Well, what are we looking at here? We need to go to that black market. The bone charm in here. There's also, I believe, a rune in here. Yeah. Um. Wait. Hold on. This is on this floor. Let's just have one more look here, because I've probably just been stupid and missed it. Oh no! It's right there. In a bell jar. <laughs> Hard enus. What does it do? Maximum health is increased. Okay, so is a black bone charm just like a really good version of a bone charm? Because it sounds like it is. Um, maybe that might be better yeah we've got a bit more health now or max health okay cool so I'm gonna move hey it's the spy master Hiram Burrows yoink um, what was that A Reflection on My Journey to the Pandician Continent Number 2 by Anton Sokolov. Okay, was it, this is, whole piece appears to be separate from the normal. We still didn't get that safe combination, but... There's money here, so... I guess I'll just have a quick look. Interesting. More photography. Huh. I'm tired. How long, my dears? How long must I endure in this shadow state? Forever. Forever and ever, you have a mechanical heart. Is it a curse or a blessing to linger past your time in the world? Not a blessing, it's a curse. The Child Empress. 
excerpt from an historical series. This looks interesting, I'm going to read it. There was a definitive moment when people stopped calling Emily Coldwin the Child Empress. It came after an ambush by the Regenters, an extremist group who wanted to return Dunwall to the authoritarianism of the Lord Regent's time. On the way back to Dunwall Tower, Coldwin's carriage was blocked between two gates with her attackers firing pistols and even throwing a grenade. With the Royal Protector too far away to be of service, the young Empress, only 14, found herself all alone in the carriage save for her friend Alexi Mayhew. Coldwin supporters are lucky that Mayhew was there as she was brave enough to grab a grenade that had landed at their feet, throwing it back at the assailants and saving the Empress. When one of the men dropped down from the forward gate, it was Emily Coldwin who yanked free a short railway brace and beat the man senseless with it. With the city watch closing in, the two girls held their ground against the debris of the carriage until the situation was secure. It is said that Emily Coldwin refused to have the Regenters executed for their crimes, and this is hailed by many as her first adult decision as Empress. Cited for her heroic actions, Alexi Mayhew was commissioned by the City Watch when she turned 18, and was later made captain by Emily Coldwin herself. So now we know the context of Alexi Mayhew, who unfortunately was killed in the game's introduction. <laughs> Uh, still interesting stuff. So looks like we're in a different apartment or something here, but... We'll have a quick look round. Ugh. Um... Okay. Oh, okay, so that was, that was how we got in, in there, just through a different window ledge. Conservatory closure extended. A representative from the Royal Conservatory confirmed today the site's closure has been extended once again, with no promise of when it might reopen. Curator Brianna Ashworth could not be reached for comment, so that's who Brianna Ashworth is. Readers will remember that an infestation of mites in the Roseborough exhibit forced the closure nearly six months ago, though there have been rumours that no exterminators have been hired. The Roseborough exhibit was to be a prestigious event sponsored by the Academy of Natural Philosophy, with hopes of attracting numerous experts and guest lecturers from across the aisles. This important exhibition is now on hold indefinitely due to the extended closure. For hopeful visitors, there is nothing to do but wait for further word. We know we're going there as well because that was shown in pre-release footage too. Um, I think we are just about done exploring these abandoned tenements. I'm going to go for that black market in the next episode, but when see just maybe we can buy a rune or something. But I think I've found a way over this wall of light, nonetheless. Although we will be going past collectibles and things that we want from there. Anyway, I'll end this here and next time we'll go a bit further into Events and Station. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop me a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time for more Dishonored 2. Take care and goodbye.